Hello beautiful! If you're new to the channel, my name is Zakia, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of one of my favorite decor stores, Crate and Barrel. The store was pretty full for spring and they had some beautiful pieces. Starting with this beautiful woven light fixture, which I absolutely adore. I love the lightness and airiness of it, and I thought it was really, really beautiful. This was another light fixture they had, which was absolutely stunning. One of the things that I noticed very early on when I entered the store was there was a real emphasis on blue for this season. And I loved the way that these dishes looked. They reminded me of Greece. As soon as I saw them, they reminded me of the white and blue structures and buildings in Greece, and they just caught my attention. And they also just remind me of a glistening pool of water. <laughs> They also had these really beautiful napkins that were fringed on the side and a navy blue. So if you're looking to keep up with the trends and entertaining this year, there is definitely a very clear focus on blue. And I know that these things are stocked for spring, but I really did get very much a summer vibe from a lot of these pieces, including this vase here. It just seemed very summery to me because it made me think of the ocean. And I have to say that quite a few pieces in the store this day really, really made me feel like I was oceanside, including these plates and dishes here. This pattern that is on them is very reminiscent of the ocean. And this entire setup made me think of a beach house. So I think that we're gonna be seeing a lot of that feeling this spring and this summer in decor. It's a very beachy, very sort of organic vibe, very fresh and light and bright and airy. And I love these chairs. I'm thinking about switching out my dining room chairs for a couple of chairs like these. I'm just afraid of the upkeep on the fabric. This piece here was one of my hands down favorite pieces of the entire day. It is the Flox wall mirror for $399. It has a beautiful live edge design on the mirror. It is absolutely stunning and absolute showstopper. It is so beautiful. And again, here you can see what I'm saying about that emphasis on that sort of beachy sort of feeling and vibe. You've got this big palm leaf platter that is absolutely gorgeous, full of texture. And then you've got these beautiful recycled glass glasses that almost make you think of sea glass in a way, which I adore. And these beautiful aura plates, they really, really bring home that beachy sort of feeling. And these cheese boards here have a lot of movement in them and a lot of just organic feel and texture to them. And here you can get a close-up look at that print and design on those Aura dishes. Very beautiful. Now we're going into what's always one of my favorite areas of the store, the flower market. And for spring, you can see they've got these really beautiful, really fresh green and white colors and beautiful sort of textures. And they've got this beautiful eucalyptus wreath here. And here we've got some peonies, which are always a beautiful choice. If you're looking for a more modern look, they've got the air plants and the succulents and with the stones. We have more wreaths over here and I actually own this pompous wreath and I absolutely love it. I think it's great for any season. And of course they always have a beautiful selection of stems. And here, these are actually actual dried Flowers, I'm not sure exactly which type they are, but those are actually real dried flowers. And of course the pompous stems because pompous is still very much alive and well right now. These are beautiful Queen Anne's lace stems. They have such a beautiful, such a nice soft texture. And of course, stems that have little buds are just perfect for spring. They are right on time. 
we are working our way over a little bit closer to the vases and here we have these faux willow branch stems that are $24.95 I have to say they did seem a little plasticky to me so I don't know that I feel they were worth the price here we have this beautiful eucalyptus tree that is $299 now we are over at the vessel section and i was immediately drawn to this beautiful vessel it reminds me of a vessel that i bought in my winter haul and that i styled in my living room it is absolutely gorgeous i really loved the way they had all of these vessels displayed together so you could really see what you wanted and i actually already own this vase which i love because it is so big and i also like the color i don't know if you can really pick up on it on screen this is a piece that i was considering because it is beautiful but i feel like i may be able to diy that so i'm gonna hold out on that this is a very interesting piece not quite my taste but it's beautiful nonetheless and here again we see that circular sort of shape which i think is going to be very in this season i actually do have a circular terracotta pot that i do think that i'm going to paint so you guys may see that a little bit later Another really cool thing that I noticed was that there is a very big emphasis on texture and contrasting texture this season, which always adds a lot of interest to your decor. This section was their potted plants and right here is their fiddle leaf fig tree, which looks pretty realistic to me. It's a very nice looking plant. They've got also the bird of paradise and over to the side, you can see the grass in the little containers, which I think is a really cute touch for spring or for Easter tablescapes or just for a little bit of that Easter type of feel. They've also got a really big selection of candles and here you've got the gold candle snuffer and I know someone who has that and she does like it. So it is a good buy. Right here we've got candlesticks of every shape and size and I actually I have some of their actual candlesticks and I really do like them. It seems that they last longer than other candlesticks that I've bought before and I am typically only a white candle person but when it comes to candlesticks I will go out of my comfort zone with that. I thought these white marble pillar holders were very beautiful. I love them. And they also have a nice selection of lanterns in different styles. So you can always find something that suits your style. The great thing about lanterns is that they can take up quite a nice amount of space visually and you can use them for candles or for florals. You can put them in front of your fireplace. You can put them on a table. They are really just a very nice, very versatile, very useful decor piece. And right here they had a few really beautiful woven baskets and this is one of my favorite sections of any store and that is the clearance section. So even if you feel a little put off by the prices normally, don't hesitate to go and look in their clearance section because the prices really are not that bad in the clearance section. And when you look around the entire store, you may be able to find some things that have prices that you are actually surprised by. So definitely go and just walk through a crate and barrel if there is one in your area. I know that for a lot of people, they don't have one near them, but if you, you know, even wanna take a day trip to go visit, it is definitely worth it. You can find inspiration in their vignettes or just the way that things are set up. Like when I was there, I was really inspired by the artwork there, especially some of the larger pieces. This lamp was a piece that I definitely was drawn to and I'm actually thinking about possibly doing a DIY dupe of this lamp because I think that would be really fun to actually build the lamp from scratch. So you guys let me know down in the comment section if that is something that you would like to see because it is actually a lot easier than you might think to actually make your own lamp. 
This Marcel Teak wall art was a beautiful piece. Again, we're seeing that very organic sort of feeling juxtaposed with a contemporary vibe, which I think we're gonna see a lot more of this year in decor. And here we have this beautiful footed brass bowl. This is another one of my favorite areas in Crate and Barrel. I really like their pillows because they tend to do their pillows in really large sizes. And I find that that is a great way to elevate your decor is to use larger size pillows. And I actually have this pillow in ivory and I love it. One thing I want you guys to remember when you are shopping at Crate and Barrel, if you see a pillow case that you like, but you don't need the pillow form itself, you can always buy the cases separately. So don't hesitate to ask the salesperson if they can take the pillowcase off and they will sell you the pillowcase without the pillow form. So of course it will be a lot less expensive. I absolutely love this sofa here. I'm not a really big sectional person, but I do like the way that Crate and Barrel does their sectionals. They don't tend to feel as heavy and bulky to me. I know that a lot of people like sectionals for comfort and you know, they're great. I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, sometimes they can get a little heavy visually. So I love the clean lines of Crate and Barrel sectionals and especially in the lighter colors they just seem to take up less visual space and have an airier feeling to them and don't forget they also have a clearance section in their furniture area so definitely always check that out whenever you go to the store I really like this planter. It is a pretty big planter. You can't really pick up on the size right here on screen, but I am needing to either purchase or DIY a planter for my fig tree in my living room. Um, the one that I have, I like, but I do have something else in mind. So I have my eyes open for a large planter that will fit that plant. I saw so many really cool things at the store, including this floor lamp, and again, was totally inspired to try and come up with some sort of DIY based on that. So I just have so many things rolling around in my head <laughs> that are possible projects that I'm gonna share with you guys. These are some items that I definitely wanted to share with you guys before Easter. I thought these were such beautiful, beautiful ways to incorporate Easter into your decor without going over the top. It is very modern and very subtle. I love these little wooden bunnies. I actually picked up one of them, but I did find another piece that I like better, so I may be returning the bunnies. These plates are super cute and super subtle. This is another one of the really large scale artwork and this beautiful, beautiful sideboard. It is the Terra Natural Oak sideboard. It is so beautiful and so substantial. And right here, I'm just giving you guys a closer look at that platter and the little wooden bunnies. The bunnies actually came in two different sizes. They have the smaller bunny and then they have the larger bunny. I believe the larger bunny was 30 something dollars and the smaller bunny might have been a little bit under $20. I'm not exactly sure, but I will link the bunnies for you down in the description box. There seemed to be a really big emphasis on entertaining and tableware and things like that in the store, I think because people are gonna be getting ready to entertain for Easter. And they always have a beautiful selection of dishes and flatware and placemats. So if you're looking for something like that, that is a little bit different, a little bit unique, like even this canister, even though it's a basic white canister, it had sort of a handmade texture to it that might set it apart from something you might get elsewhere. I also wanted to show you guys these chairs. They have a beautiful selection of dining chairs and bar height chairs that are very unique and that seem to be very quality. I really like this woven dining chair here. I thought it was really pretty and could be very versatile. 
It just seemed like they had a really great selection of different styles of chair in the store. And it's always nice to be able to see things like chairs in store before you purchase them. I know that a lot of people like to set up bar carts and I thought this bar cart was really pretty, just beautiful, classic and clean. If you're looking for kitchenware or houseware type things, they have a really great selection. These mugs are so pretty. I love that chrome finish. And here again, we've got more blue on these mugs. I thought these mugs were really pretty. Very simple and very clean, but still very impactful. These next items are something that I really, really like. They are oven to table bowls and tableware so that you can place your item directly from the oven onto the table into these wooden holders and I think those are really useful as well as being very beautiful and that's also the same reason that I like these white bowls that are over to the side you can make your dish in them and then you can store them Another thing I wanted to show you guys was these egg cups. I think they are only $1.95. They would be great to have before Easter, as well as these beautiful berry baskets. They have a nice little selection of different colors. Another thing that might be helpful for you guys in entertaining for Easter is these drink dispensers. They have a nice selection of drink dispensers that are very, very beautiful. You can see that they have these different styles so again you can find whatever it is you're looking for I'm normally a white plate type of person but these plates were so pretty they really made me feel like summer and I also like these plates too I have had those on my maybe list for quite some time so that brings us to the end of our crate and barrel store tour I hope that you guys enjoyed spending this time with me because I had so much fun with you guys <laughs> So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.